Austin from AustinBryanDrums.com here with you this week showing you a new fill that I've been working on with some of my students. So this idea is a golf spill fill, uh, meaning that you're doing some single sticking with a couple kicks and a snare and a cymbal afterwards. It looks and sounds really impressive, but it's not too crazy for the average drummer. So what you're going to be focusing on is the sticking right left followed by two kicks and a snare and a cymbal. So the best way to think about this when you're starting to play this and work on this is just to think one E and a two, three E and a four, and get really comfortable with the right left kick kick snare and hat. So let's give that a try. One, two. So after you get really comfortable with that and you're able to loop one E and a two, three E and a four, we're going to work on building that into a two measure phrase. Now this phrase is really cool because it starts to feel over the bar. The reason you feel that is because it's made up of four sixteenths and one eighth note as this phrasing goes. So you're really thinking one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two B and three E and a four E and a. So it's these phrases of five. So it takes two measures for us to finish the idea. Now the idea would come up a little bit short, so at the very end we put in four E and a four sixteenth notes just to finish off the phrase on our snare. Um, so this week we're going to really be focusing on, on playing this idea just with our snare, kick, and snare and hi hat to end it. So let's play a little exercise. We're going to do two measures of a beat to two measures of a fill. So let's give that a try. One, two, here we go. After you get really comfortable playing two bars of time into our two bar fill phrase, we're going to work on condensing this fill idea a little bit. Now in order to condense this idea, you're going to have to think about this groove with 30 second notes and 1 16th note instead of 16th notes to 1 8th note. So the same rule applies, we're still thinking a phrase of 5, but instead of two measures now, it's going to take up one measure. We do this because oftentimes we're thinking of phrases of 4. So you usually do three bars of time and a one bar phrase fill. A two bar phrase can be a little bit long when you're jamming with people or working on music or doing a transition. Um, this one is short and sweet. Now this fill is really busy, so you don't want to use it too often when playing with people. It's a, one of those things that maybe one time in a song or one time in a set would be, would be plenty. But it's definitely a showstopper, it looks showy, um, and it sounds really cool. So let's give that a try. That's our final goal. We're going to want to be able to play a three measure beat into a one measure fill. So after you get really comfortable with that, um, you want to try to do that in multiple tempos. So slow, moderate, and fast. Try playing this along to a song or different metronome markings just to test to see if you feel comfortable doing this. Now the end goal is to be able to take this fill and orchestrate it. So we'll touch more upon that next week. So for right now, practice this gospel fill, make it your own, work on looping it inside and out with, with songs, with your metronome, by yourself, and then try to bust it out when you're playing with people. So I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, AustinBryantDrums.com, the gospel fill, and we will catch you next week.